The views expressed are not necessarily those of KSCJ and Powell Broadcasting Company. This program is not intended to replace the advice of doctors or other clinical providers. Consult with your practitioner to ensure the proper course of action for you. Welcome to When Things Aren't Going Well on AM 1360 FM 94.9 KSCJ. This program is dedicated to your mental health wellness and brought to you by Family Services, a United Way partner agency. Here's your host, Art Silva. Good morning, Siouxland. I'm Art Silva, and welcome to When Things Aren't Going Well. This show is dedicated to your mental wellness and how you can help yourself navigate the daily highway of life. We hope to educate and motivate you to help improve your mental wellness environment. Our show is brought to you by Family Services, a United Way partner agency serving the Siouxland community. Joining me today is my colleague and co-host, Brenda Geisinger, Chief Operating Officer at Boys and Girls Home and Family Services. Good morning, Brenda. Good morning. And how are you today? I'm wonderful. And you? Uh, I need some tips. You know, I need some some gardening tips. You know, uh, (laughs) know, I'm getting anxious now. This is new to me. I don't know how to do this. I I like flowers. So um, uh, when do I have the green light to plant? I'm not a real expert, but when the soil is warm and the sun is shining, go for it. (laughs) Oh, okay. That's like giving you a tip on the horse race. Poker chips in the ninth race. Put your corn early. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, listen. It's going to be a great show today because, uh, by the way, um, it is May, and May is Mental Health Awareness Month, and uh, we're going to talk about that. So, Brenda, would you please introduce today's guest? Uh, the guest today is Christy Spicer. She's been on the radio show with us numerous times, a true expert and colleague of mine and knows her everything and everything. Um, Like Art said, it is the Mental Health Awareness Month is in May. And what we want to talk about today is mental health and how to improve it and where to go. The National Alliance of Mental uh, Institute has made the slogan together for mental health. And that's really what we want to focus on. So Christy, I'll kind of turn it over to you and where we're at with things with mental health right now. Well, good morning. Thanks for having me. Um, Yeah, so May is Mental Health Awareness Month, and I think it's just a really good opportunity for us to, again, just kind of talk about what is mental health and how do we take good care of that for ourselves and for those around us. Um, And so I'm excited to be here and really like, um, you know, NAMI's um, slogan for this year, Together for Mental Health, because it really does require us to not just be by ourselves, to not just think about it for ourselves, but to think about it in a broader sense. Um, and I, I think the other part of the together is being able to talk about it, right? It, mental health doesn't have to be this thing that affects somebody else or mental illness doesn't have to be this thing that affects somebody else. Mental health is all of us. It's for all of us. And there's a lot of power in being able to know that you can talk about how you're feeling and what's really going on for you emotionally um, and um, that kind of thing. So I think what we've learned through the years is really pulling together and supporting one another, even if you're having a good day to share that energy and that as together we're stronger versus I'm going solo, I'm overwhelmed, or I'm having a good day by myself. It's just more special when you're with someone Mm -hmm. else or connecting with other people. And I think we've all kind of learned that in some way in the last Mm -hmm. couple of years. And I hope we don't ever lose that sense. Um, But being one is not as strong as when you're with two or more. Well, Brenda, you couldn't be, more. I think, more correct on that. Uh, If that's a benefit of what we've gone through with this pandemic, then it's a great benefit. Some people still fight that, though. Some people still want to work in that uh, island mode, like um, the way we've always done it. You throw yourself at a problem. You work overtime. Um, you do the all-nighters, and that's not healthy, and you're doing it by yourself. So, yes, teamwork, inclusion, and the, uh, the ability to uh, share is so crucial you know, to, to a good outcome. Mm-hmm. Christy, your thoughts? Yeah, absolutely. And I think, you know, when we don't talk about the experiences that we have, whether it's mental health or other things that we're trying to go through, um, if we keep that all to ourselves, we are much more likely to have negative thoughts that come about because of that and can even start to be 
thinking about ourselves in a really negative way to get into that whole shame. I'm a bad person because I have these things that I'm going through. And the way to really combat that is to share your story, to tell other people this is what I'm going on, because shame grows when we are silent about it. Whereas if we speak up and say, I'm really struggling with this thing, it takes the power away from it. Um, And it can be scary to do that, but that's really what's happening is that we're taking that power away from the shame that we might feel around something we're dealing with. Something I've experienced recently, and I guess throughout my years of doing what I do, and Christy, please jump in if you find this as well, but quite often when I'm out in the community, people might approach me about a mental health question or something they're struggling with. And when you learn to connect with them as a person, whether you know it's about their job or their family, the mystery, the mystery of mental health kind of goes away when you just relate as people. You know, sometimes people will say, "Well, how can you do what you do all the time?" And when you put that aside and just really focus on the person and what they enjoy or what they're going through, that mental health doesn't become so scary. Yeah. I'm Art Silver, and along with my co-host Brenda Geisinger and our guest, licensed clinical therapist Christy Spicer, and you're listening to When Things Aren't Going Well, and we're talking about uh, Mental Health Month. Uh, Christy, let me ask you this. Uh, What is the mental health impact on overall health? Yeah, so there's more and more information coming out about this, um, that if we are mentally well, we're more likely to be physically well. Mm -hmm. And a lot of our even mental health illnesses or concerns or whatever you want to call it can even manifest in our bodies and can really be damaging to us. I think about um, a piece of information that I share with folks who struggle with anger, right? We don't often think of anger as really this mental health issue, right? But it, it can be, anger can be. Um, and what they've learned through research too is that when we get angry, it impacts our physical, high blood pressure, our heart health. And that's just like getting started with how it can impact your body, which can land you in the doctor's office going, my blood pressure is high, my having these heart issues and things like that. Um, and so it really does make a big impact on that. What is some of the, um, it's okay, so you get that problem, and you're going to go get help, and you want to work on your anger management. I'm sitting here saying, okay, I got to do this. Um, What are some of the perceptions of mental health services? I'm thinking about this, but what are some of the perceptions that people have when they walk in this? And conversely, what are some of the misperceptions? Yeah, I mean, I think that that's such a big question, you know, but I think a lot of times people feel like because they're not talking about what it is they're thinking and experiencing, they think that they're the only one, right? That they're the only one that has a problem with their anger. They're the only one that feels sad or the only one that feels lonely, even though they're in a room full of people um, because they don't talk about it. And the thing that I would like people to know, I guess, too, is just that those are the things that come into my office. You're not alone. Those are real issues. And so it's not, you're going to be hard pressed to walk into a therapist's office and to be the first person to ever tell them those things, right? So you're not alone. Um, and that's what we're there for. Um, so that, that's what came to mind when you brought up that question. I think the other piece is a lot of times people um, may seek out therapy and when they enter, there's a sense of shame or embarrassment. Sometimes parents will say, well, does this make me a bad person or a bad parent? Um, And it's really putting those fears to the side because you're not a bad person. You are not a bad parent. You may not have learned things and things we can help you with, but it doesn't mean that you're bad or that you aren't doing something right. We're just trying to talk about different options and to be healthier about it. It's totally non-judgmental, and I think mm-hmm. sometimes people get a little judgmental or have a, a stigma associated with the help that you're trying to provide. Uh, it's, it's, Christy, I think you said it's not a weakness. It mm-hmm. is absolutely a strength to sit down, mm-hmm. do a little analysis. Even if you're not sure, go see somebody because you know why? You're going to feel better. Mm-hmm. You're going to feel better uh, mentally, physically. You'll feel more in control. 
And if you're ever going to do it, this is the month of May, Mental Health Awareness Month. And like Christy said, you are not alone. She sees people all the time like this. So please, you don't have to sit here and, and, and have this type of angst or go through this. Get a good quality of life. Uh, we, we hope to share this information to help educate you, but we also hope to motivate you. Uh, because when you take charge of your life, things get better, and we're here to help. So that's a great first half of our show. Um, we're coming up on our break right now, so would you please enjoy your next cup of coffee, glass of juice, or if you're in that line at the coffee stand, stay with us. Uh, we'll be right back with more of When Things Aren't Going Well right here in 1360 949 KSCJ. Let's face it, it happens to all of us. However, the pandemic has compounded all of our lives and activities. Even the simplest tasks seem harder. Hi, I'm Brenda Geisinger, the Chief Operating Officer at the Boys and Girls Home and Family Services. Family Services is a United Way partner agency serving children and families of our community, and we're here to help. If you'd like to learn more about Family Services, please contact us via email, website, Facebook, or phone Mary Pickens. At Family Services, we change lives. Welcome back to When Things Aren't Going Well on KSCJ. Here's Art Silva. Welcome back to When Things Aren't Going Well. I'm Art Silva along with Brenda Geisinger and Christy Spicer. And let's continue our discussion on Mental Health Awareness Month. Uh, Christy, let me ask you. Let's talk about, and Brenda, some ways that we can support mental health for all. Yeah, so I think anytime we have a chance to check in with people, like how are you doing and not just looking for the... I'm I'm fine. (laughs) You know, and sometimes you, you know, even depending on your relationship with the person, right, um, can impact this. But, you know, those individuals in your life that you can look at and say, how are you doing? And they look at you and they go, I'm fine. And you're like, yeah, right. Yeah, right. Right. And being able to then say to that person, "Okay, but I understand that you want to say that to me. But what else you got? Right. You know, kind of encouraging them to say more. I think that that can be a lot. Um, being willing to listen and like really listen. Be a real good listener. That's yeah. such a great skill. Yeah. Just and not be quick to offer advice. I think that that sometimes isn't as helpful as we think it can be. Okay, you um, fixers. You hear that out there? All you <laughs> yeah. fixers? Not that people don't want advice sometimes because they do but really listening for whether or not that's what they need or that they want right um so not always trying to fix like you said that's a really good good thing but to really listen to hear what their experience is and um showing empathy i think can go a long way too man that sounds really tough for you um i'm sorry that that is happening to you um can also just help a person know that that they're being heard and I think that goes a long way. You really touched on it. When we know our friends are off, just a little off today, and you ask them that question, uh, you know, how you feel? Okay, and you just feel like it's spaced over. You know, okay, now we got that out of the way. How do you feel? Mm-hmm. And I think we got to be a little more in tune with our closer friends. Like you said, the relationship dictates. Mm-hmm. But with our closer friends, don't let them get away with it. To me, I'm getting to the point where, hey, listen, I'm going to talk about it because I care about you. Mm -hmm. And I think the more we show that care, let's get that resistance down that, hey, there is hope that I can feel better or I can deal with this one topic or this one thing that gets me. Mm -hmm. I've seen it work, Christy. I've seen absolute miracles. I've seen people come in low and come back joyful, Mm -hmm. um, full of life, looking to get out there and take another another bite of the apple Mm -hmm. that we have out there. Mental Health Awareness Month for anybody that you just heard the buzzwords, please, please, please talk to somebody. If you know of somebody that could use a little help or a little talk, sit down with them and see where they're going. And what, if you can, find out what's bothering them. That's the first step. I think the other thing that, you know, you have, we have a really good opportunity to, as we think about together for mental health, is I can model this, Correct. right? Yep. I can be the one to say, yes. you know, if Brenda asks me, you know, how am I doing? I can say, well, let me tell you how I'm doing. Or I can even start the conversation, right? Like, hey, Brenda, I wanted to, t- I want to tell you that I'm struggling with da 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 da, right? This thing, and then that shows her that like I think it's okay to talk about it. So then maybe she'll think it's okay to talk about it, right? And so then together we can support each other um, in being as healthy as we can be in that area of our life. 
great example of that lately has been a lot of the celebrities and athletes that have come out and talked about their mental issues. And um, unfortunately, uh, we just lost a great talent, and, um, Mrs. Judd, and, um, and she battled it, and she talked about it. Man, her daughters are talking about it, and we want to talk about it. Nobody has to suffer or go through a mental illness by choice. I mean, we there's things to help you. Um, uh, so hopefully we've had the pandemic. We've had celebrities speak up. Um, maybe we can get this message out. And we're thinking about something really big this fall um, around mental, mental wellness that get the word out. Uh, it's so critical because the help's going to come from us. It's going to be a grassroots movement where everybody starts looking out for everybody else and at least direct them to where they can get some help. Uh, unfortunately, our business is here to stay. Uh, working with children, we don't see this going away. We see it getting tougher with our waiting list, et cetera. So I want everybody out there, and we're giving you some great advice. And Christy, thank you so much for sharing this. Um, we're going to get ourselves better. Um, this is a great community, and we should measure our mental, mental uh, wellness in this community because I think it's pretty high. I think it's pretty high. A lot of good services out there. Uh, Christy, let me ask you. What what are some of the um, things about mental health? Like, um, let's wrap this up. How do we get better? How, how do we get better? We've talked a lot about it. We know this and that. How do we get better? Well, I, I think we we've talked about some of that, right? Like the, you know, making sure that that we are talking about it. Um, and then we don't lose sight of it and that we continually try to learn something about it too and what it means. You know, one of the hottest things here, folks, to share with you is the success stories. Um, people get better and they go off and, 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 and when you intercede when talking with someone through counseling, that's a success story. So the problems don't manifest themselves and come out. People are working every day to make themselves better. Uh, we see that. It's not a light switch where you walk in and say, okay, I'm done, I'm fixed, I'm cured. No, it's a process, mm -hmm. and that process leads into a routine, and you will be so in touch with yourself as to your strengths, your weaknesses, and what are some of your challenges, and as you keep battling those challenges, they open doors for you, and you keep advancing yourself. This works. I got to tell you, Mental Health Awareness Month, um, I'm excited about it because it's going to give us a chance at Family Services uh, to really step up and, and, and help the community uh, go forward with an understanding and edu education of mental wellness. Uh, during the month of May, we're going to have um, we're going to have various topics in here uh, that we can talk about. We have um, a hotline counseling and Catholic charities joining us, and they're going to tell us their view of mental wellness in the community. Uh, that's coming up. We'll have another one of our clinical therapists come in and talk about getting back into looking at the quality of life and getting into some summer activities. Christy's giving us some advice today. How did how did how to manage? I mean, it's a you could put the TV on, you could read the newspaper, you could see a friend, you could be at work. What is it that sets you off? What is it that that that, that just triggers you? Um, try to identify that, and then what can we do for coping skills? How can we get around this? How can I deal with the unpleasant things I got to deal with, so they don't drive me to a point where I can't be productive? And sometimes we take that weight. We take that weight, and um. That gets back to the fixes, and you know, maybe we shouldn't be fixes. Just be a good listener. And if they ask for help, here's what I would do. So, folks, I'm all charged up on this because I really believe in it, and I hope that during Mental Health Month you take some time to do a little self-assessment on yourself, and if you think you need some help, we're here to help you. So with that, we're coming up to the end of our show for this week, and I uh, always like to leave you with a little bit of humor. So here's our weekly joke. Okay. A woman in labor suddenly shouts, shouldn't, wouldn't, couldn't, didn't, can't. The doctor said, don't worry, those are all contractions. <laughs> uh, guys wouldn't know that stuff. <laughs> okay, well, listen, uh, thank you, Brenda. Thank you, Christy. And also thanks to our listening audience. A shout out to Denny Bullock and the Paul Broadcasting staff on their 75th birthday. Sorry I missed it. I couldn't be there. I was listening, though. You guys do a great job for the community. You know the community pulse and a great station. And congratulations. And uh, I don't think I'll be here for the next 75th one, but let's try for 100, okay? Sounds good. We'll be back next Saturday morning at 7 right here at 1360 AM, 94.9 FM, KSCJ. And our topic will be Breathe Yoga. 
I'm sure that you'll find this very informational, so please plan on joining us. We have a surprise for you. Family Services gift to the public will be free yoga during the month of May. That's right, free yoga. In more details next week on our show, so please tune in. Have a great week, and may the sun shine on you. Happy trails to you until we meet again. Happy trails to you. Keep smiling until then. Happy trails to you till we meet again. For more information on the services provided by Boys and Girls Home and Family Services, see them online at boysandgirlshomeiowa.org. Or you can call 712-293-4700 to get more information about family services, residential treatment, the Opportunity School, the Siouxland Family Center, and more. At Boys and Girls Home and Family Services, we change lives. We change lives. We change lives.